Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I like to give you a, a small lecture on what is the proper Buddha's teaching. What is the proper internal Wing Chun, which can be mapped by science? And also, what is all this internal training and Xing Qi to Dan Tian stuff? And also, again, Wing Chun, Pray Spring Wing Chun is never Shaolin Wang Chun or Shaolin Eternal Spring. Now, this channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So, whoever do not want to face reality with evidence need to know that they better leave me alone, okay? Because if anybody involved me and talk about history <clears throat> and uh, Wing Chun, then they better expect that I'm going to share with the world what is the reality backed by evidence. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a lecture today so that you can understand what is going on so that uh, you'll be able to develop things, develop your Kung Fu. That's very important. And so you can watch this video with uh, 1.5 X speeds or above. But I need to speak slowly so that you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. Now, uh, two days ago, I shared this video in responding to somebody's getting me involved on a certain thing. And after I share this video, today some Wing Chun friends message me again because that particular person make another video and uh, making all sorts of claim. Okay? And so today I like to share with you What is the proper of this kind of stuff in history of China and in reality? The notions is so that you really be able to know what is going on and you be able to develop <coughs> the Kung Fu you like to or get your investment, have a result. Okay, now watch this video if you have never watched it yet. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is the Buddha's teaching. Many people today do not know Bodhidharma, have never practiced it, have no idea about it, but they want to be grandmaster, they want to play expert. And over here, I say that Buddha's teaching is not an excuse for ignorance or false. Buddha's teaching is always clear and sharp. It is not wishy-washy or anybody's opinion. Now, this is what this morning uh, our Wing Chun friends from Europe sent me. Okay? And this is false. He said that Buddhism 
is it all starts with being able to detach. And then he said, able to detach detachment. So if you feel so threatening, uh, so attacked by a single comment that you have to make a big YouTube video to, uh, to a response. And then here is a rich attainment by study with Hmong and blah, blah, blah. Now let me tell, okay? So our friends send this video and send this to me and ask me, Hendrik, is, is that true? Well, sorry, this is false. Why is it false? Let me explain to you and get you into the proper dharma so you know exactly what is going on. Now, Buddha's teaching, Buddha's teaching, the entire Buddha's teaching is about impermanence. As here he said, Buddhism views impermanence as one of their essential dog line that proceed everything change and nothing lasts forever. Everything from our emotions to our thought and feeling, from the cells of our body to the plants, to the plants around us, is changing and decay continuously. So the core of Buddha's teaching is impermanence. Our emotions, our thinking, our thought, our feeling changes. This is within. Outside there, the trees, the weather, everything change. Okay? Nothing stay permanent. Now, so impermanence, which is nothing is last forever, is the bottom line. Now you read about this. Buddhism is all start with being able to detach. Huh? So who detached from what? As you see from this teaching of the Buddha, even our view, our thinking, our feeling, our emotions all continue to change. Our minds continue to change. So, this saying that being able to detach. So, what detach from what? When you say being able to detach, you already get into a very screw up situation where you assume that is something can detach with something. While the Buddha is saying that nothing is permanent. So that is the problem. The person here have never studied Buddhism, have never really, really understand Buddha's teaching and keeping pounding on this detached stuff. Okay, so, okay, you have something to detach. You is something permanent. You want to detach from something. The Buddha said, hey man, everything is continue to decay, to change, and so forth. In fact, the sixth patriarch of the Zen saying what? In the Platform Sutta, you can read about it in the uh, sixth patriarch Sutra, which is a Zen Sutra, a Chan Sutra, he said, there is no a thing, there is no a thing. How can it collect dust? To detach, meaning that you collect something, you want to detach from the dust. So this is completely something else. It is not the Buddha's teaching. So please, do not call this Buddhism. Okay, now, so this person continues on saying that uh, if one be able to detach, uh, you don't feel threatened, uh, so attacked by simple comment that you have to make 
a big video YouTube about, which he referred to this YouTube. Now, the first thing, any decent human being, if you say a wrong thing toward other people, you apology. The less decent one, just keep quiet, but they know in their heart they stay, say a wrong thing. But this person is not neither nice, kind, or decent. It turns it around, try to attack when I try to explain to you what is going on. Okay? Now, this person is... Admit that he attacked me, attacked by a single comment. And then thinking I'm threatening. Watch this video. Am I get threatening? Threatened, feel threatened? Or I try to explain the entire thing for the world so that people don't get screwed up is because your ignorance. Okay? Now look into the uh, Buddha Dharma, the Buddha's teaching. Here you complain me about uh, making a video. Okay. Making a video. Such as this for one hour. Do you know that? Do you know that? The Buddha speak of Srangama Sutra. Srangama Sutra. Okay? You will have to spend at least a few years to understand what is Srangama Sutra. And in the Srangama Sutra, there is this called the 50 Skanda Demon State. Okay? So what is this 50 Demon States about? It is about invaluable aids to avoid the pitfall of associations with false guru. Okay, so you don't want to get into the demonic states. Okay, so that is Swangama Sutta. Okay, now false guru. What, what is false guru? This is false guru. Buddha didn't say that. This is the Buddha's teaching on impermanence, not in those, this detached thing, okay? Now, so are you mean that, do you mean that uh, the Buddha get threatened by the, uh, the, 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 the false? The Buddha get threatened or feel threatened by the false guru so that he speak on the Surangama Sutta. So if I make one hour video, the Buddha speak of the Surangama and people need to spend years to understand that because that come with the different meditative Samadhi states. Okay, so you need to understand. In Buddha's teaching, he always make it sure it is clear so that you do not screw other people. Now, another thing you have to watch out for in Buddhism. In Buddhism, that is the Dharma protector. Like in the, in the Tibetan Buddhism, you have seen it even in the Shaolin Monastery, Shaolin Temple. Okay? So uh, in Shaolin Temple, the, the story of the origin as the Shaolin uh, protector comes from a story about the invasions of the, the, uh, the, the bad guy, the red bandits. So the Dharma protector just get show himself to, to protect the Shaolin. Okay, so one need to watch out. That is Srangama teaching. That is the Dharma protector's teaching. 
One, do not and cannot just twisting things around and preaching false teaching, which is you're going to screw people up. Okay? Not to mention this. You attack somebody and you don't apology and you turn around to keep attacking on things you have no idea what is going on. Now, here he said that, oh, reach attainment by study with monk, with a monk, and blah, blah, blah. Now, let me tell. Sorry. In Buddhism, a Buddhist or disciple of Buddha is one who takes refuge in the triple germ as their first step. By taking refuge, one declare that he is the disciple of the triple germ. Germs is usually described precious stone. The triple germ means Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. If you want to study Buddhism or the meditation and so forth, if you don't study with a monk, you are not a Buddhist. Okay? So a Buddhist means that the Buddha is teaching the Dharma. Who are you going to study the Dharma? Of course, you need to study with the Buddhist monk. So, stop to get this kind of uh, alibi and uh, attacking and so forth. When you do something wrong, you admit it. Okay? Or if you don't admit it, walk away because you don't want to deal with something you don't know. Buddha's teaching is not an excuse for ignorance or false ideas. Stop to use the, the, the Buddha's teaching for that. I don't want to get into spiritual thing here. Are you sure you want to face the Dharma protector in the spiritual realm? If you want to play around with that, you think twice, okay? So here, I am just kindly tell everybody, don't mess around with things you don't know. Now, to continue on this thing, okay, on this impermanence, the attainment, attainment of the, the Buddha's practice, it is not like uh, being able to detach and then once you detach you you feel like uh, you are the top of the world or whatever and uh, you you are okay with everything and so forth so forth let me share with you the truth the truth in buddhism is follow the buddha's dharma the buddha's dharma teaching by the monk the sangha okay You need to show by evidence. This is from the Sutta. This is how Buddha presented. It. it is not me, 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 my sifu, my attainment, my experience like this. Now let me tell you. Now let me tell you. Are you Buddha? Are you Sangha? Even Sangha will not do that. Sangha will say, According to the Buddha Sutta, this is what at one time the Buddha is teaching. Thus, in all the Sutta, you can see that it is always start with, Thus, I have heard Buddha at this time presenting this or teaching this. Now, is that so easy? That, oh, yeah, you know, uh, just detach and everything. No. In the very minimum, there are four planes of reparations. The first thing uh, in today's language, the first state is the stream enterer. The second is one's return. The third is non-return. And then the arahan. Now, so stream entry. 
stream entry in Pali is Sota Panna. In Chinese is Si Tuohan. Okay. It's also translated as stream enter. Okay. Now, even if you get into the stream enter, you are not Arahan yet. So, what happened? In the stream enter, that means you abandon identity view, the Tao in Buddha, aesthetic or ritual rules. You see clearly what is Buddha's Dharma. Only until the third stage, because of your dhyana, because of your vipassana, because of your satipatthana training, that you be able to let go the habit of sensual desire and ill will. Only at the third stage, you be able to fully do that. Over here, the stream enterer is not be able to fully drop their habit. Everything is impermanent. However, we all grasp our habits. So over here is only they see, like the stream enterer, they know it already. They know it all. Now I already attained that uh, the world is impermanent. But the habit in their mind, their body, and all those things, their DNA and so forth is still there. They have to get into the deep samadhi and deep satipatthana to get out of their own habit. And then only at the arahant state, they drop, they abandon the material, rebirth, desire, all this thing. Okay? So you don't go saying that, oh yeah, you know, you just detach. you be able to detach and then you, you, will, you will be like enlightenment. Buddha didn't teach that. Okay? And to be a stream enterer, what you need to do? You need to practice satipatthana as here. Is there a satipatthana sutta which say satipatthana leads to stream entry? So here again, here is one of the mindfulness of body leading to stream entry. In the previous video I shared with you, Everything in the Buddhism is on the mindfulness. Not the detached or eternal. It's not like that. Okay? And this is the quality of those who already enter into the uh, stream enterer state. They no longer envy, jealous, hypocrisy, fraud, denigrian, domineering. They drop that. Okay? Now, do you know what is the level of this stream enterer? Yesterday or the other day on the YouTube, I share on this Taoist Secret of Golden Flower, a Chinese book of life. Even if you have mastered the entire secret of golden flower, you are still not the stream enterer. You are not still not get to the level of sota pat sota panna. You are not. Why? Because the Taoist is actually considered to be a demon state in the Shrangama. 
So, as here you said, the final sections of Suranga Masutra describe the five scandal of form, feeling, thinking, formation, and consciousness in terms of demonic state a cultivator may fall into by coming attached or arrogant about the spiritual power. The Taoists be able to get the uh, how to say that in English, okay, like the people can get the out of body experience. They have the energy developed, they get out of the body experience. Because they are attaching to their five skandal. They want to live permanently. They don't know that the entire world, the entire reality is impermanent. So even if you master the entire secret of the golden flower, sorry, you're still not into the steam enter level. In fact, the uh, the uh, the 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 uh, Taoist spoken this this uh, this, uh, this 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 the sutta. Li Dongbin, Li Chunyang later turned into Buddha Dharma. The Taoists got nothing wrong, even though in, in, the, in the Buddha's teaching say this is a demonic state. Why? Because you use the energy to keep your body stay, uh, stay for a long time. Okay? So you need to know that. Instead of just uh, keeping banging on thing where you have no idea what it is. Well, that's what I say. If you want to stay doing whatever, doing whatever, I care less on what you like to do. Don't involve me. And also, when I present the truth of the Buddha's teaching by evidence, do not. react with this because you're going to screw a lot of human being okay do you know what type of karma is that so my words is one better know what not to talk okay so buddha dharma is not for everybody to talk if you don't know you don't know this is slandering study with a monk and blah, 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 that is slandering the triple jewels. It's a serious offense, okay? So usually people doing that, if you read in the ancient Jan, uh, Zen teaching, they repent right away. If they don't repent, they know they're going to reincarnate into a problematic reincarnation. Read the Zen, the real Zen teaching. So I can only warn people that don't talk about things you have no idea, you have no experience, you never learn. You want to screw up yourself, that's your problem. I don't care. But don't screw other people, don't screw Buddhism, and don't get me involved. Now, as for the Sing Chi to Tan Tian, now, there again, our friend sent me this. Talk about Sing Chi Tan Tian. Okay. Breathing to Tan Tian is a lower level, lower states. Okay, so the question right now I want to ask everybody Is Sing Chi to Tan Tian at, low, at lower? Uh, is a lower state. Okay. Is Sing Chi to Tan Tian is a lower state. Meaning that uh, your lower abs breathing is a lower lower state of Sing Chi to Tan Tian. Now this is, uh, I, I, I mistyped this thing too. So the question should be, is Sing Chi to Tan Tian a lower state? Is Sing Chi to Tan Tian a lower state? Okay? Meaning that be able to have lower abs breathing 
is a lower state of the Xing Qi to Dan Tian. So again, let's say it carefully. Is it mean that lower abs breathing, a proper rhythmatically low abs breathing, meaning the lower level a lower state of the Xing Qi to Dan Tian? Meaning that, oh yeah, you know, Xing Qi, uh, uh, you be able to do rhythmical breathing. That's just very low uh, level of Sing Chi to Dan Tian. No, sorry, no, I, I, I mistyped here. Now there's a problem here. People, most 99.99% of the people today have no idea what is Sing Chi to Dan Tian, have no idea how the entire thing works. And then they keep have their own uh, theory, interpretation, but none of those works. Why do I know? Now, stop to put this, I have a higher, more advanced level of Kung Fu. Le uh, advanced Kung Fu of Qi, advanced Kung Fu of internal. Oh, you just do the breathing. You are lower level. I am the higher level of Sing Chi to Tan Tian. I deal with energy. Stop that. Why? If you say that, that means you are clueless. Let me reveal this to you. Where you cannot read in, at least for all the books I read, and the video and everything, you never see people present this clearly to you. The reality of the internal and dealing with the Chi, the alchemy. Now, there are two, two steps of the training of the internal art. Okay? Two steps. There is no higher level or lower level or higher state or lower state. It is like a coin with two faces. Unless you can handle one, you cannot handle the other one. If you can handle one, you will be able to handle the other one. So, the first thing, if you want to develop the real true internal energy in your body, the first thing you need to develop is Lian Qi Tu Na. Develop the breathing and energy. You need to develop your breathing and the energy. If you don't develop your breathing, you don't have you cannot develop the energy. Forget about it. Okay? So if anybody tell you that uh, a breathing is a lower level, forget about it. Okay? You know they never do, they never train in it. Okay? Now, so in this first state, the breathing has to be developed. And breathing is a bridge to many things in internal, like your energy, your mind, and also it is for detoxing, detoxing your body. Okay? So on breathing, if you if you look at the, the secret of golden flower, you know, that Taoist book. He said this, because heart, uh, breath comes out of the heart. Unrhythmically breathing comes from the heart unrest. Therefore, one must breathe in and out quiet, softly, so that it remains inaudible to ear and only the heart quickly counts the breath. Okay? And only the heart quietly counts the breath. This is talking about the level of breathing one needs to get. Because the heart and the breath is actually one. Like last time I talked about, right? The uh the 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 the, the mind and breathing they are they are synchronized. 
they are mutual dependent. Now, and then this is the uh, rhythmical breathing. And here you say that you have to breathe quiet and softly. Let me tell you one thing. Do you know that the secret of to develop this energy is how you be able to breathe in the uh, rhythmically and make it become subtle? Do you know that? If you don't have that developed, you will never have the energy develop. Your mind will not quiet down. So your mind, your breathing, your energy, they become they are one. Not to mention that there is a detox part. Okay? So you need to develop this, develop breathing and energy. You need to have this state. And then on top of that, only you have that, then you can regulate and transport the energy of the energy channel, like your body's energy channel. This is called Siu Mai Pan Yin. A guy, a real guy, I'm not even talking about grandmaster, a guy who really practice the internal will have to be able to handle this both. Okay. If you cannot handle this bowl, forget about it. You just be asking. Okay. And nobody will say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, chi is advanced, but you have no idea how to handle that, that breathing, that subtle breathing. Now, so this is talking about chi in the golden flower. Let me share with you something real. This is the six healing breath, okay? This is uh, Dr. Ma Li Tang, a grandmaster in the real Qigong and internal art. So he is actually the, uh, the, 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 the grandmaster of the six healing sound in uh, this era, meaning that uh, past, uh, one, uh, past uh, 80 years. When he practiced this six healing sound, this is who, okay, one of the, the not the six healing sound, sorry, the six healing breath is better to say instead of six healing sound. This is who, you look at how his, uh, his, his, uh, his, his, his body gesture, the motion, and uh, his, his mouth is, uh, is making that, 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 that who, that who, who, uh, uh, breath. So here, he explained. He said, when you exhale, you exhale all the chi from the Dantian. You exhale all the chi from Dantian. What does it mean? This means that you want to completely discharge your breathing so that you have a, 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 a really long, deep breathing. Okay, so if you have long, deep breathing, you discharge while your breath inside your body. That is named as the using the, uh, you, you need to discharge the uh, this is meaning the fully. In the same time, so this is in the breathing and in the detox. In the same time, if you look at this red line here, that is how he regulate and transport the energy of the energy channel. So both happen in the same time. So say when I do who, I discharge that, that breathing out, 
that is for detox phase. And I am actually have to regulate using my mindfulness to regulate my energy channel the, the, cha the energy in my energy channel from the fit meridians okay all this is uh, written from the hit uh, the fit meridians to the heart meridians the reason his hand is like that is because this hand is like this is because with the body, with the mind, full, he wants to regulate this, 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 the, this, this energy flow. Okay, if you, you can look at that, or you can find this video in YouTube and you can look at that. So, the real deal, you have, have to have the breathing, the detox, the energy regulating. Okay? Not just talking about Xing Chi to Tan Tian. Oh, breathing is a lower level of Xing Chi to Tan Tian. And Chi is the higher level of Xing Chi to Tan Tian. Man, you really don't know what you're talking about if you say that. Not to mention that even the breathing itself, the handle that breathing. Over here, it mentioned the breathing, but it never tell you the process, how you develop that. Thus, today, many people who talk about qigong and qi and uh, all this internal, they have no idea how to handle the uh, rhythmical breathing. Thus, you know that they're not going to develop anything. It's just all talk. Now, this thing, the breathing and the energy and the transportation exists in the Wing Chun 1850s Xiu Lim Tao writing. Okay, so this is the three, three state in the six core element, which is uh, in my book, the uh, basic Wing Chun Art and Science. The six core element. So you can take, uh, if you don't have that book, You can take a snapshot and read about it. How you want to step by step get yourself ready. And then uh, the chi flow will surface naturally without any artificial manipulations when the energy is filled up, similar to the charge battery. The third stage of the chi element is the state of directing the chi flow with one intention of visualizations. So uh, this is the second state is like uh, in the 1850 Xiu Lim Tao uh, writing, it said that union in the Dan Tian, the Du Meridian Sing. This is another level of the the the, the Du Meridians, the, the, the handling and the, the Dan Tian handling. And uh, on top of that is spiral twisting naturally follow the breathing and the directions of the chi channel. Well, that is just that. Spiral twisting follow the chi channel. So, If you never see things, you never train it, you never develop it, of course, you're going to talk about a lot of things which is based on your interpretations. So let me, uh, today I already share with you, right? 
the breathing, how important is that with the mind, everything is here. This is how it practices. It's right in front of your eyes in the YouTube. And this is how the 1850 recording the same stuff. And with this process. So when people don't know this, they will become imagine, uh, very uh, imaginative. But you know that they, they never know what it is. It's like a, you never be in San Francisco and you just keeping thinking, oh, San Francisco is this way, that way. And uh, you see a postcard from San Francisco and then you start to have your interpretation on San Francisco. But you never been there. So this is the reality. That's why the six core element, the basic Wing Chun Art and Science books I wrote is very important. You have to go through all the six, uh, the, the 13 state. If you cannot handle the 13 state, meaning that you have no idea what it is. So when people who teach the six core element who never really proficient with the 13 state, forget about it. They are just like a parrot repeating what I'm saying. Okay? So you want to know the Sing Chi to Tan Tian, the internal, it is much deeper than what you guys think. Now, I hope that those who really want to study internal, you better get this, understand this completely or get the my book, The Basic Wing Chun Art and Science, really clearly be able to, 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 to comprehend, to understand this. Or else you're just doing yourself a disservice. Now, in terms of uh, Wing Chun and Wang Chun, Wing Chun and Wang Chun. So the person say they are sister art, they are different art, but sister art. So here my question is, Wing Chun and Wang Chun are sister art. Let's compare the root of Wing Chun. The root of Wing Chun, not lineage. But I mean, who knows what, what lineage? I can say, well, this is today, this Hendrik lineage, or what, I know. what the heck is that? You get the history. So let's compare the history of Wing Chun and Wang Chun, the uniqueness of the Wing Chun and Shaolin Wang Chun, and the design, the technology of Wing Chun and Wang Chun. Again, has to base on historical evidence. Now, Wing Chun is the art of the anti ching male play female role actors. All those things can be verified. The identity of anti ching can be verified, like in the Freemasons Society of San Francisco. They have a big uh, the uh, document storage. Right now, there's a lot of things in UC Berkeley. Okay. So, so we know clearly what what is the uh, the, the the Wing Chun is about. The identity. They are anti Qing. And their group of people like flee to uh, San Francisco. Okay. It is a, in the United States, it is the Chinese Freemason. Last time I already shared with you that, okay, all this related, related to Sun Yat Sen, okay? Now, this is the history the Wang Chun people always use when it comes to claim that. Wing Chun or the Prey Spring is not the authentic Shaolin Wang Chun and it is 
Leong Zhan, who call it Wing Chun. And in here, it say that the Wang Chun people, the Shaolin Wang Chun people, is working for who? The Qing law enforcement. Well, of course, you can see really clearly. One is anti-Qing, is trackable in even in San Francisco, in all over the world, trackable with the Hong Sing Chai Le for everybody. Another one is somebody's opinion, and but we know that they are working with the Qing law enforcement. So one is Qing, anti Qing, one is pro Qing. How is that a sister art? This is the short strike, Wing Chun. It has four arms, the leg, the left and right arms, and the body arm. It is called sticking body short strike or my son, Tuin Da, or Tip San Tuin Da. This is Wang Chun, Shaolin Wang Chun. It is a close body art. It is not a sticking or my son art, clearly state here. This is the distance. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that leg arm and body arm. Okay? According to the writing of the Siu Lim Tao, 1850, I just explained to you that you have to have this uh, develop the breathing energy, regulate the transport, the energy of the energy channel. So this part is this part. Now, in the design of the 1850 Shulian Tao, it has to follow that. Here you look at the Wing Chun Kun form performed by a respectable Shaolin Wang Chun grandmaster, very respectable grandmaster. I salute Grandmaster Tang Yak because he go through a really hard life protecting Wing Chun, his art. You look at his design, this arm is stationary in front of his body while he's moving this arm. Well, sorry, that cannot exist when you do the transportations of qi. Because the minute you put one hand in the arm there, you do this, you no longer follow spiral twisting naturally, follow the breath and the directions of the Qi channel because you stationally have part of your body because your body, the left light have to echo. When you put it down there at one side like this, it is no longer that. Okay? So here, I'm not saying that uh, who is more advanced or who is better than who. I just tell you that for heaven's sake, Stop to make this uh, 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 claim that uh, uh, there are Wing Chun and Wang Chun are different art, but they are sister art. And then uh, you, you cite all kinds of uh, this lineage, that lineage. Well, we want to root, look at the root. This is something which is by evidence in the history. It is completely different art. This is anti-Qing, this is pro-Qing. This is a short strike uh, sticking body art with a forearm, this is not. This is a closed body. This is uh, according to the Qi meridians and everything designed, this is not. As yesterday I, I shared with you, this person said, oh, 
Praise Spring is actually created by Grandmaster Yit Man. Okay. So he said that uh, here. Like this, he was the only one using beautiful spring in Hong Kong. And here, he said that how Wang Chun, the eternal spring, turned into today's uh, beautiful spring, or praise the spring. It is actually not beautiful, it's praise the spring. Spring means opera. Okay? Praise Spring is actually singing the opera. So Wing Chun means the martial art of those who spring, who, who sing opera or the opera actor. The opera actor. Okay. And so don't give me those lineage, lineage stuff and everything. I mean, you can you can create your lineage or this guy can create their lineage or that guy in the past 100 years how many lineage been created but there's not valid the valid thing is look at the root and obviously very clearly these people don't know the existence of wing chun he doesn't know the existence of Wing Chun. He just heard that, oh, he's, he, the, 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 uh, the people in the past saying this, and then he replied, he, he, he continued on. This thing, the same thing too. He doesn't, they doesn't know that. What is Wing Chun? What is the technology? What is the uniqueness? And if you today, you have your own lineage in Wing Chun, heaven know what you create. But this is written in the Chinese history. And as for the Wing Chun, it even can track down to, as the other day I said, the Chi Chi Guang, the Shaolin, the real Shaolin in Songshan. And we have the record there. So, it's time to stop to argue different art, but sister art, all kinds of stuff. If you don't know, you don't know. This is history. Okay? Now, at the end, finally, I want to share with you something important. Why am I go map the, the, uh, the, tra the basic training of 1850s Wing Chun to today's sports science? Let me share with you. This person, you can go check him out. So this is Tang Hao. Tang Hao, he lived 1887 to 1959. Tang studied many Chinese and Japanese martial, including Tai Chi, okay, and Judo and so forth. So Tang was arrested and, and so forth, so forth, so forth. But Tang is the guy who wants to debunk all mystical stuff with signs. This is uh, in the very early time, okay, like 1930s, he already uh, here. In 1932, Tang traveled to Chen family, study Chen Tai Chi, and uh, Tang intended to clarify the origin of the art by studying historical documents and record of the Chen family. And uh, over here you can see Tang Hao is widely considered to be the first serious historian of Chinese martial art, and he, his work continued to be cited by contemporary scholar. 
Tang published a dozen of uh, book, many articles, okay? And uh, much of his work focused on debunking the mythology of folklore Chinese martial art. In particular, the false lineages purporting to link tradition martial art to various ancient mythological historic figure. Tang study Shaolin, Tang's study of Shaolin and Wu Tang attack the myth still popular today, the attribute of Shaolin martial art to Buddhist monk Bodhidharma and Tai Chi to the legendary Tao sage Zhan Sangfeng. Well, I follow him because he got to science 100 years ago. He want to change the thing. Now, because he failed, not that he failed, the Chinese in the chaotic situations, so you end up with this. You see how they, this this guy, this Tai Chi guy, can actually uh, actually glue the birds, like in the movie. Internal energy, chi, and then you see he have an internal power. So he have internal power to destroy the internal. This is in Chinese TV, okay? Chinese television to present the Chinese martial arts. Guess what in the real life it look like? Same thing. Guess what it look like? Over. Now you see both of them, if you look at both of them, when they start, when they start, they always have something hand spread out and all those. Okay, if you look at him, you can go to the video YouTube to check it out. And also this. You see that? The arms spread out, they have chi, they have energy, which is can this. Well, that's what Tang Hao wanted to throw away 100 years ago. These are all just magic party tricks versus the non trained, the people who have don't know martial art. Well, I mean, okay, you know, those are tricks. You can do all those kind of stuff. But when you face this, Xiaodong, how many seconds is that? With all the energy, internal energy, qi, xing qi to tan tian, how many seconds is that you count? Same thing with this guy, a Tai Chi guy. How many seconds is that? Now let me ask everybody a question. How, how, what do you think between Rickson Garcia and Xi Xiaotong, who is better? Between Rickson Garcia and Xi Xiaotong, who is better? I'll take you that Xi Xiaotong is not near Rickson Garcia. Go watch this video, how he handled his breathing, how he handled his his heart rate and all kinds of things of physiological states. You want to go to fight? You better have this type of MMA type of training and the type of training like uh, Rickson Garcia. There's a reason. Now I map the Wing Chun 1850 training into sports science, into the same type of training like in MMA and in Olympic. Otherwise, 
forget about it. You have no idea what is the momentum handling, the, your, your body, your, your, your speed, and your power. Real life is not this. Okay? Real life is not this versus somebody who don't know. Real life is really, really high speed, really, really intense momentum. So, if you have seen Chi to Tan Tian basic, you got to be able to show me or to show the world on your heart rate control, your breathing rate control, your stress level, or your heart rate variability control. And also your intra-abdominal pressure. If you have the Sing Chi to Dan Tian basic, if you have from this, develop this Sing Chi Tan Tian and go to the fitness. You better be able to show your recovery time and your cardio fitness level, your under uh, high, uh, 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 upper middle uh, mat training. And your lung capacity and your maximum inhale pressure and exhale pressure. If you really think that you have your sing chi to tan tian everything, you better be able to show your VO2 max, your maximum heart rate your endurance and your uh, interval training, the high interval training, where you get to your maximum heart rate, you rest and get the maximum heart rate, and then uh, you stay there for one minute or two. Why? When you fight, like in the ring, Three minutes, you have to go, you expect yourself to go for maximum heart rate for three minutes. And then you take a rest, another three minutes. What? Watch this. What people have. Your opponent have this. So, as what I say, this YouTube channel is not about me i am uh, the grandmaster my sifu is the grandmaster anybody if they say that they have the sing chi to tan tian internal blah 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 whatever this is what extract from the 1850s wing chun xiu lin tao training the basic of it and speaking or presenting with the scientific sports science and medical science language. If you want to fight this, you want to be able to face this, you better have this. Okay? So that's why I wrote my book. That might be my last book or whatever so that's why I wrote the decoding Wing Chun is decode whatever it is in the reality to science. Map it into the science. Get data. So when people say they can nurture chi, you check their HRV, you check their heart rate, you check their breathing, 
if they want, they say that they have the martial art training from the internal. You check their VO2 max, you check their peak heart rate they can endure for how long. So this is what I'd like to share with you. All of this is actually rich able. If one know the proper process, one can even, as what I just shared with you, verify with science. But if one keeping, don't know about Buddhism and talk about Buddhism, don't know about the handling of the chi and everything, talking is like somebody, oh, I have this sifu, that sifu, that sifu. Does anybody sifu represent Chinese culture? That's why Tang Hao is fed up with all those nonsense in 1920, 100 years ago. He went to Japan and uh, go to school there and he said, man, what is this? So that's why he went to study everything. He gave credit to whoever doing the real thing. Like the Shaolin Sword Strike I show you, Tang Hao said, yes, this exists. This is what it is. And he debunked whatever it is myth. Oh, Zhan San Feng, oh, this Qi, my Qi. So, you want to face Xi Xiaotong? Not even Rickson Gracia. Rickson Gracia is in the grade of like Mas Oyama and, uh, and, and, and people on top of that. So we need to know what is the reality instead of living in the hallucinations. When you're preaching those hallucinations, you are going to screw people, especially young people. Why do you want to get people misled? So, this is what I'd like to share with you. My last word is, leave me alone if you don't want to see me presenting more comparison with the evidence and evidence. I never like to attack people. And I never like to uh, put down people. I respect people. But there are certain things in Chinese culture you don't touch. People have to be public-minded, not screwing other people. And like the, the, the Buddhism, the, the, the Buddha's teaching, hey man, you are not a Buddhist. You don't even respect Sangha. What type of person you talk about Buddhism there? Is that right? Like we went to like the, the church, we're not respecting the father. What are we doing? We don't respect the, 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 uh, the, the, the minister there. So, this is the second part. If you count the, 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 the one, the, the video I, I present yesterday is the first part. I don't want to have a third part because it gets very really ugly if I dig down to the thing. Okay, don't assume. I do not want to drop an atomic bomb or nuclear bomb. Like Tang Hao, 1920, people couldn't take him. So people get him fired. But this is United States of America. Everything has to be based on evidence. And nobody in United States of America were buying nonsense. Okay? So, don't insult the good people, the people who care for everybody. And there's a lot of them in the United States of America. 